Okay, hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to your welcome to Jakarta Motivator Toastmaster and English Public Speaking Community. So, what is Jakarta Motivator Toastmaster? It is we are under Toastmaster International that was co-founded by Wadiman Joyonegoro and Budi Harjo Hadi Suryo. So. Overall, the vision of us is to create a secure and supportive environment where individuals can confidently pursue their goals in public speaking. So here's our organizational structure. We have club president and then secretary, VP education, VP membership, public relation and treasury. So what you are gonna do here in this club. So for all the the members, we are expecting you to practice your public speaking and leadership, and we will also have workshop and international contest to help you gain more, gain more in terms of a public speaking. So to help you with, to help you to have better public speaking in the in the future we have 11 specialized learning paths that you could choose from those and then you will take that and then take that into consideration into your public speaking later and here our meeting schedule for jakarta does Jakarta Motivator Toastmaster. We have online meeting and offline meeting. So for online meeting, we will have it in first and third week and every Wednesday. And then for offline meeting, we will we will have it on second and fourth week of a month on every Saturday. So yeah, that's for the introduction. Um, now I want to pass on the baton to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Yusuf, the screen is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Ulfi, for the introduction of our club, Jakarta Motivator Toastmaster Club. Hello, my name is Yusuf Suryadin and I am your Toastmaster of meeting or your host for this meeting. I will be guided. I will be guide. I'll be, I will be your host and will be, will be your guide to maintain the meeting from start to the end. First, I will tell you about the meeting team. This is a bit heavy actually, but for me, it's kind of really interesting and mind provoking. The theme is World Peace. Wow, it's really, really hot and heavy. But sometimes, well, yeah, I, I think I have to uh, tell you about the uh, uh, background, why I choose this meeting theme. First, I just watch Oppenheimer. I mean, like uh, who watch Oppenheimer? It's a bit, uh, yeah, maybe it's too mainstream right now, but I think I really like Christopher Nolan movie. And it's really mind provoking, uh, because the cinematography and also the sounds is really exciting. But the theme of the movie is about a bit uh, heavy. It is about uh World War Two, and also the Cold War after that. Well, and also I want to tell you about my background. I live in Kalibata City. Kalibata City is a super block in uh, south of Jakarta, and we have so many people here. And I also see so many uh, foreigners as not really uh, expatriate, but they are actually uh, refugees. Refugees from Afghanistan, Iraq, and uh, Syria, and also from Nigeria. And I, yeah, 
as a, a na good neighbor, I ask them, uh, why you're here? I mean, like, uh, are you here for visiting or to uh, get the job or something like that? They said that it is unfortunately for them to flew to Indonesia, not because they don't like Indonesia, but back then in their country, there is the conflict or war. And that's really mind provoking for me because sometimes we uh, as Indonesian here, but maybe also here there is a Kayum who also uh, attendees for this meeting and also for, from other country said that uh, we are maybe take it for granted for our peaceful time in our country. And before I jump to the agenda, I want to ask you about two things. First, have you watched Oppenheimer? And what do you think about the movie? <laughs> and second, what do you think about uh, we have uh, take it for granted that we are now living in a peaceful uh, time? Maybe anyone who want to uh to give uh, the uh insight of their mind. Oh, nobody watch Oppenheimer. Seriously, you really have to watch it in IMAX. Or maybe uh, uh, Ricky, are you? Uh, have you already saw the movie? Oops. Not yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, so maybe. So why I Pardon. Why why IMAX? On IMAX, yeah. Why I need to watch it in Why? Yeah. Is it on IMAX now? No, no, I mean, why IMAX? Uh, you said that I need, Oh, see, uh, I because need... the the sounds is really good there. I mean, like, uh, because it is uh, produced uh, on IMAX, and mm -hmm. the uh, producer or also the director, Christopher Nolan, said that, like, if you want to see it, see it mm -hmm. on the widest uh largest uh uh, uh screen mm. and indonesia is imax i think okay okay thank you for the but uh, yeah, uh, um, enough about oppenheimer what do you think about mm. world peace are we taking for granted that we are now living in the peaceful time yeah i do believe i i i do believe we take it for granted uh, am i audible Yes, you are very eligible. So, um, we actually, I'm, I'm really into geopolitics and I'm following the current uh, situation with the tension between Russia and NATO and also the uh, US and China. So, uh, I do believe that the, the probability is quite high that in the next uh, 10 or 20 years, uh, we will have uh, another world war. Wow. So this is, a topic, this is a topic that I love. We can discuss it at length, um, especially if there is an online, offline meeting. When will, it, when will it be, the next offline meeting? It will be on team, uh, Taman Ismail Marjuki, uh, the library. Yes, when? Uh, may, uh, next two weeks, yeah, Ulfi, Ulfi. on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love, we'd love to discuss with you guys in person. But in short, uh, I watched a video on YouTube that uh, actually major wars between the empires in, in this world for thousands of years uh, triggered by the downfall of the, the superpower at that time. Yeah. And usually the don the downfall is related with economic downfall. So uh I will I will post the link to in, in the WhatsApp group if you guys Wow, well, yeah, yeah. I I I saw it in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, thank you uh for your insight and also your thought uh your uh your uh opinion about the war that it is actually the great war. Uh it is it, it has happened because the a downfall of one of the superpower or the yeah superpower uh, country, uh, and uh, hand hand it over to the other one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and yeah, but, uh, but for the uh, what is called what for the uh, 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 light one, I saw. Uh, have you ever watched Philomena, Chang and Philomena? Is that a movie? 
Chang and Wilhelmina. No, it's really, really, it's really more com more commentary. It's really you follow. Oh, it's really yeah. Chang in uh in following in Wilhelmina. Okay. And uh, they said why like uh, why is Great War? Eh, why they said is uh World War One? Is there they oh, going okay. to have sequel on that? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. And said, and the and the and the and, this, and the, uh, the the source answer that is actually said Great War at that time. At and the time. Okay, okay. She re uh, she replied, uh, "What great about that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's That's really quite... not commentary actually. Yeah, you really have to yeah, watch yeah. Netflix. Then on BBC also. A any other? Uh, yeah, thank you. Any other? Uh, inside about world war or peaceful time, maybe Adi, Eka, or Eka. Hello, you call Hello. me. Yeah, Adrian. Okay, thank you. Are you audible? Yes. Uh, what's the question again? What do you think that we are now living on the peaceful time? Can we maintain it? And how? Okay, this is an interesting topic to discuss. Um, so you say that we take this peaceful time for granted. I would say yes, because we, in our generation, I think in my generation, 90s, uh, is not living in a war time anymore. So we are just living what our heroes already made us uh, giving the independence to us, striving for us in the in the long long time ago. So, but the case is if we want to make their their sacrifice, their their time would be. It is our time to maintaining the peace for at least in our country. To at least we we can have the we can have the better education, how to maintain the country, how to serve ourselves with to to appreciate what heroes, what our national heroes have done in the past. I think that's the my thought for this. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Adrian, for your thought. And later we have a table topic session uh, that will be conducted by Ufi, and we will uh, have a more lively and more fun session. But before that, I want to uh, mention about the agenda for this evening. We have prepared speech by Toastmaster Ricky and will be evaluated by Toastmaster Prawira. And uh, before that, I want to encourage you to use word of the day, which is, I will share you the screen. This is the theme for this, uh, sorry. Yeah, this is the theme for this uh, evening. What is, how close we are to the next world war. It's a bit heavy. And this is the word of the day maneuver. Now, it is now. Uh, it is a movement performed with uh, care and skill. Uh, that is the example. How do you implement that word on the attend on the uh, words? And also, they have uh, other uh, Indonesia uh, military exercise involving a large number of soldiers, ships, and etc. I encourage you all to use word of the day because it will be counted by the evaluator. And I will be helped or I will be assisted by general evaluator and they have the great team to maintain this meeting to be okay. Okay, I will introduce you to the general evaluator, uh, general evaluator, uh, Mr. Adrian, Toastmaster Adrian. Can you explain what your role and your team to us? Thank you for the time, Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Yusuf. Hi, everyone. Good evening. My name is Adrian Eka Febrianto. Would be, I would be happy to serve as a general evaluator for tonight. 
So my role would be to evaluate the meeting, how it goes, and how's and putting my suggestion for how should the meeting goes for all of this meeting until the end. Um, because evaluation has been Toastmaster core. I mean, the core where we want to strive for the better, to have the better meeting and so on. And for tonight, I will be, it's not me alone. I will be helped by Grammarian. And I think Mr. Grammarian, Toastmaster Kayum, are you here? Okay, maybe we can wait uh, until some time later. For, and then I'll be helped by another role, which is timer. Toastmaster Nanda, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm on my way. So I think five minutes later, I will arrive home. I'll be a timer. So for each speaker, please pay attention to my screen. I will open my camera after I arrive home. And I will give a final for green. Yeah. I think that's Master Nanda lost her connection. Maybe we can move on to another role, which is still more imp is the important role, which is WOD counter. That's Master Aldi. Would you mind to explain your role? Screen is yours. Thank you, Mr. GE. Okay, my I am Aldi. I will count you about every filler words like ah uh, um and something like that. And if you can hit the WOD today, which is maneuver, I will take the report to you. And that's all about my role. Back to you, Mr. G. Thank you, Toastmaster Aldi. And so we have a volunteer from Grammarian side, which is Toastmaster Adi, volunteer himself to be Grammarian for tonight. Thank you, Toastmaster Adi. Would you mind to explain your role? Screen is yours. Hi, everyone. I'm Grammarian. I'm the and uh, the site that uh, will be moving soon. And then uh, in the SEGRAMARIAN uh, call, I will uh, not download all the like, numerical errors and then get into a chance at the end of the uh, evaluation session. Uh, the key to you thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Aldi, Adi. And I see Toastmaster Nanda already back here. Toastmaster Nanda. Would you mind to explain your role? I think yes. You Am I audible? Now. Yes, you're audible. Out and clear. Yes. Uh, so my role is as, as a timer and also the counter. I will change my background into green, yellow, and red. So for each speaker, please pay attention on my background. And then in the end of the session, I will share the, the link for the background. Thank you. Okay. I think that's all for evaluator's role for tonight. So I'll give I'll giving my screen time back to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Yusuf. Okay. Uh, have a round of applause for our general evaluator and team. Thank you for explaining your roles. And by the way, I said before that Toastmaster Rizky will deliver their speech. There is a miscommunication here. Uh, since the Toastmaster Rizky, uh, Ricky uh, or, uh, is on, a, on hospital, since uh, there's something with uh, his wife, uh, get well soon for her, uh, will not, uh, cannot uh, deliver their, uh, his prepared speech. So we don't have prepared speech for this meeting. So we will have more table topic session and will be conducted by Toastmaster Ulfi. And that's it for me for this moment. I will uh, hand over the control to Toastmaster, table topic master, Toastmaster Ulfi. Are you here? Toastmaster okay. Ulfi. Hi. Hi everyone, welcome back. 
to me again. <laughs> I'll share my screen while, okay, give me a sec. Okay, so welcome to the table topic sessions. So in the table topic session, I, as the table topic master, will present a series of questions and each participant will have a limited time, typically one to two minutes uh, to respond to the questions. And the goal is not to deliver like polish, uh, perfect speech, but to express our uh, our ideas confidently. So I encourage you guys to use the word of the day again uh, uh, in your speech. Again, today the word is maneuver. So, okay, so when we talk about word peace, it's a heavy, like Toastmaster used to say it before, it's a heavy theme, but somehow it reminds me of superheroes so like in the world of comic books and blockbusters movies, superheroes tend as, as a symbol of hope, courage, and determination. So therefore, I provide some of questions behind this superheroes characters for you to choose. So yes, let's get started with the sessions. So who wants to be the first? to pick the characters. Okay, we have our guest, Juan. Juan or, or Juan? Uh, Juan. Okay, Juan. <laughs> okay. Who do you want to pick? Mm, Doctor Strange. Okay, Doctor Strange. Let's see. Okay, as you know, Doctor Strange can manipulate time and few different possible outcomes of events. So the question is, is there a specific moment from your past that you like to revisit or change if you had this ability? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Table Topic Master. The question is, is there a specific time in my past that I want to revisit or I want to fix it. And this is actually related to my uh, regrettable things in the in my past. And when I was um, hey. still a student in my high school, I really, if I can go back in time to the past, I really want to fix my past self, I mean, when I was still a student in high school, that uh, when I didn't do many uh, important or uh, productive activities, I was in high school, I was in Drover, like I didn't do uh, many activities that can improve myself, that can develop myself. To become a better person at that time i was not uh, brave enough or confident enough since i was in Rockford, you know i didn't do uh, many activities just yes. spending my time in my house that actually didn't productive and i really wanted to change that uh, I, I, I would like to learn many uh, important things, like many skills that could be important for my future and learning skills that could be make, could make my life easier and be, like uh, making many friends and uh, ex expanding my network in high school because it was so important. I, I realized it now that uh, if, I, if I could become more sociable, uh, making many friends, my life would have been easier now. It, I, really, I really feel it 
like now because it was uh, expanding network is important connecting to many people doing maneuvers doing like uh, many important activities and making many friends i think that's all from me thank you thank you Dos. thank you kas juan yes yes i feel you actually sometimes uh as the day pass uh i often think like oh okay i regret not to doing this i regret not doing that i think i should do that uh earlier yeah, <laughs> earlier like yes that. i think i could learn that Yes. I could learn this and that. Yeah, true, true. Why I do that earlier? <laughs> true, actually. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you again for your speech. Uh, let's go to the second speaker. Who wants to, yes. who wants to um, do the speech next? Is there anyone who wants to be a volunteer? Let's see. Toastmaster Ricky, do you want to try? Okay. I'm sorry, did it did it will go out for a while, yes? Over there. Good. Is it okay yeah. for you? Yeah. No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. okay. Oh, so, yeah. so what should I do? So you could pick um characters here. We already picked Doctor Strange, so there are still yeah. nine of the characters mm -hmm. that you could choose. Please choose one, and then I will give you the question. The Hulk. The Hulk. Okay. Yeah. Great. Let me click. Okay. He has this quote, um, I'm always angry. So the question is, do you think it's okay to be angry? Okay. Oh, no. Am I audible? Am I visible? What? Yes, you are. So, do I think it's okay to be angry? Definitely, yeah. And it's coming from someone who not angry a lot. So I took a test, a personality test, a big five personality test. Uh, one of the famous uh, and academically proven academic, uh, psychological, uh, sorry, personal, personality test. So one of the um, measurements there is neuroticism. And there, I scored very, very low. And what does uh, it uh, manifest in my life is that it's really hard to get me, uh, to make me angry. And I thought that was a strength uh, until I married my wife. So uh, living with someone that you're not growing up with and sharing your personal life, it, it is definitely a reflective moment. There, I realized that actually being angry is a good thing. Uh, telling that. Uh, what you don't like, uh, being assertive on that, being open on that is a very, very good thing. Why? Because if you're not doing that, sooner or later, soon you will be angry. And when you are angry, you will be big and scary like folks. And that is the state of I am uh, when, when I'm angry. So I will be very, very scary when I'm angry. That's the thing that I realized uh, after my marriage. Uh, <clears throat> actually, another alternative can be happen also that you will be uh, detached and 
a cold and um uh passive and yeah uh, avoiding your wife or your partner and that's also not good for your marriage so yes definitely uh being angry is a good uh, thing to do just doing it uh properly without a very harmful uh, uh impact thank you Thank you, Toastmaster. Ricky, yes, definitely, like, we have two choices, like, whether we want to say it out loud or we want to hold it in our heart. So, yes, yeah, thanks thank again. You. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's from... Toastmaster Ricky. So, who wants to go next? Is there anyone? Okay, uh, our GE, Toastmaster Adrian. Do you want yeah. to pick? I would pick Gundala. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, so Gundala's powers are derived from lightning strikes. So the question is, have there been moments in your life when you felt a sudden surge of energy energy or inspiration that led to something remarkable? Like, is there any experience that makes you feel like a hero? Yes, there is indeed. There is a time that I feel like a hero. You can imagine. I joined Toastmasters only this January this year. But along that eight months being a Toastmaster, I gained confidence how to speak in front of people. I am a software engineer and usually, I only talk with my laptop. And the first speaker icebreaker is so hard. I have to face all of that people in front of the stage using a mic. And, and then after eight months, no, no eight months. I think it's five months or six months. There's an event in my office and they need uh, MC. There's no one who wants to take that role. And then I know it's my time. And that time, I just raising up my hand. It's okay. I can take role as your MC for this event. Wow. There's no one wants to raise a hand. Just me. Yeah. In that moment, I just feel like my six months not paid but has an impact in my life how to be confident how to organize our thoughts well when we are delivering speech then in that time i just say to myself oh thank you i decided to join toastmaster as my resolution in january this year back to you the topic master okay that's amazing it's amazing i can't believe that you're just joined like eight months ago when you're that's really good to know that so let's go to the next okay so Yes, thank you again, uh, our G. Toastmaster Adrian, again, I don't believe you when you're saying that you just uh, joined eight months ago. So, okay. So, who wants to try for the next um, question? Is there anyone? Can I? Hello? Toastmaster Yusuf? Yeah, can I be your next Table topic speaker. Of course, of course. Please <laughs> choose your characters. Since I don't want anyone 
uh, to choose Iron Man for before me. So I choose Iron Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then. Let's see. Okay, so for Toastmaster Yusuf, if you had Tony Stark's intelligence and technological skills for a day, what innovative ideas or invention would you create to improve the world around you? Okay. Uh, thank you, Table Topic Master, uh, Toastmaster Ilfi. If I had, uh, if I have a uh, Tony Stark ability, intelligence, or uh, tools to have anything in uh, to improve around me, things around me, I think I have to say that I want to improve the transportation uh, transportation in Indonesia in Jakarta it's really near and also it's actually simple I mean like to uh, jump from one place to other place to commute from one, uh, one place to other place but without pollution I think it is really important for us uh, that for the leader to have maneuver uh, that maneuver because sometimes it is uh, what it's need is uh, uh, what it's called uh good will to use that uh intelligence uh, resource and also technology to use uh, for other people needs and for the society i think that is important for us and uh, especially for me who are now commuting every day and I think it is re ridiculous for us to spend more than two hours on the street just to get to work. I think all of the uh, attendees here agree with me, especially who are now work from office. Thank you. Back to you, Table Topic Master, Toastmaster Ovi. Thank you, Toastmaster Yusuf. Yeah, that's definitely um I somehow I agree with you. Uh do you ever like think that what if you have the Doraemon's doors? Like just open the door and you're yeah. there. Go well, everywhere <laughs> doors, <there>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next um question. Who wants to pick the question? Let's see. We have some uh, newcomers of the participants here. We have um those master Agi and Yoon. Welcome. Here we also yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, we have also Darshan who who's been uh on the meeting since earlier. Toastmaster Darshan, do, do you want to? Hello. Hi. Hi, Toastmaster Darshan. Do you want to um pick the characters? Yeah, sure. I'll try. I'll... <laughs> okay. We already uh pick Doctor Strange, the Hulk. Gundala and Iron Man. So other than that, free for you, free for you to choose. Mm, I'll go for Batman, my favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So for the Batman, for Toastmaster Darshan, the question is: Do you have any favorite superhero movies? And tell us why. Oh, uh, hello everyone. My name is Daru here. It's my uh, uh, yeah first time, so looking forward to meet everyone. And um, yeah, what's my favorite? My favorite superhero movie would be the Christopher Christopher Nolan trilogy of Batman. I think that's the best. Um, I mean, Marvel maybe Marvel may have taken over the world, but I don't think there's anything better than the trilogy. The way the action, uh, the action and the Christian Bale, it was just uh, exciting, especially the third one. I mean, the second one, you know, with Heath Ledger, 
Joker was really, really good. It was really, really um, what a, what an acting, you know, what an actor. And uh, it's sad what happened to him. But I thought that the the third series wouldn't be that uh, the the third uh, part of the movie wouldn't be that great. But then he got Tom Hardy as Bane, and it was it was um, it was insane. I thought it was better than the second one, to be honest. I really loved the third one. So. So yeah, I, th I think that is definitely my favorite uh, su uh, superhero movie. Thank you. Thank you. So I think you prefer to be called like DC fans rather than Marvel fans? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank Darshan. you. Okay, so next. Who wants to pick the characters? We still have Black Widow, Miss Marvel, and The Flash, and, and Sarah 008, and also the Superman. Okay, um, Toastmaster Ian. Hello, am I all Toastmaster Ian or guest Ian? Yes, um, Toastmaster Ian. I'm from Fantastic okay, hi, Toastmaster. Hi. Um, yes, please speak your characters. Um, um I don't know a lot of uh superhero superheroes character, but perhaps um how about Superman has Superman? Okay, we still have that. Okay then. Give me a sec. Okay, so Toastmaster Ian. If you are a superhero, what kind of superpower do you want to have in your life? It could be anything. Um, these days, my husband and I have been thinking about, uh, you know, if we could uh, go back to the past, what kind of chat we want to have. I mean, Possibly with a superpower, like, you know, can travel through the time, whether it's through the past or through the future. I think that would be great. If we could go back to us, we would go back to like 2008, 2011 to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> because it was still like, I don't know, a couple of millions, but now it's hundreds of millions. So it's something that um we've been thinking a lot. And I think oh, it will be great <laughs> if we have that kind of superpower and um not not something cliche like oh i want to change my uh, day but you know things kind of like that i think it will be interesting if i have that kind of superpower for investment <laughs> i think that's all thank you my name is Eun. nice to meet you all nice to meet you that's master Eun. yes like how to be a rich by having this, this kind of superpowers, I think we could be a rich on terms of like back in time and do the investment and knowing who to like who to support the team and something. I think we can Tesla, go. you know, imagine we could like invest in Tesla. Yes, before yeah. now. <laughs> yes. And Zoom. I think yeah. and Zoom. <laughs> and Zoom. Okay, thank you, Dos Master Yun. Next, we still have some questions. Is there anyone who wants to pick? Who hasn't picked? So, Master Ali, do you want to try? Okay, it's uh, the available is Saras 008. Yeah, we still have Saras 008. Do you want to choose that? Okay, let me try. Okay, then. Okay, so. Let me let me remind you guys, or let me let me tell you guys if you don't really know Sarah's dear So she has like she moved like a cat. So there is why uh, I put the question like about the cat. So cats often enjoy sitting in peaceful and serene places. And so the question for Toastmaster Ali, tell us about your peaceful spots where you find solace and relaxation or peace. Okay. Okay, the sentence is already <laughs> answered the questions where cats are <laughs> sitting. 
solidly and peacefully. That's a very perfect peaceful condition when we can see many cats around us. Maybe we can try. If I have superpower to be a rich man, like what we have been talking earlier about the superpower to be rich, I think I would like to build the cat cafe. It would be very peaceful place and very relaxing place since we are when we see the cats are playing with the man with the people around and I can and we can see we can feel relaxed and we can enjoy our coffee we take our we can all we are also able to work from anywhere in the cat cafe also it's a good idea also when we are when we are we have a chance for having work from anywhere to build in the in our own cat cafe. That's all from me. Thank you, this Master Aldi. So I believe you are like cat person rather than dog person or other animals. Yeah. Is this <laughs> okay. okay, so yes, next question. Next one, um, I think we have requests from Toastmaster Pro. Uh, we could invite Toastmaster Aggie to pick uh, the question. Toastmaster Aggie, are you there? Uh, yes, hello. Hi. Hey, do you want to uh, pick uh, a characters? What was the remaining left? Okay, so we still have Black Widow, um, Miss Marvel, and the uh, Flash. Uh, I'll I'll try to go with the Black Widow. Okay, Black Widow. Then. So here's the quote from Black Widow: "The world is changing. It's time we change too." Do you agree or disagree with this quote, Toastmaster Aki? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Toastmaster Rufi. I, I still have like uh, three seconds, right? Okay. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable guests. So uh, this this quote reminds me of the testament of our own realities, in which that it is sometimes that it is good that. Uh, we try to develop, adapt, or evolve according to the times because time itself in the change. If you ever heard the quote of saying that time changed everything, but sometimes there are things that time cannot change, uh, such as the relations that you have with your family. It is something that is eternal. It is a bond that beyond the time itself. And so whether that... Uh, and my disagree or disagreement with that quote is something that will be based on the context itself. I believe that um, everyone in this world uh, will, will, will at some point in time need to change according to the situation in this life. And this is something that I have uh, experienced uh, personally uh, in my, my, in my uh, past. So I think that that's uh, pretty much uh, for me. Uh, thank you very much. That's my sort of feedback to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Aki. Agree with your statement that I think somehow we need to improve. We need to improve in better ways, especially. So thanks again, Toastmaster Aki. Let's go for the last one, actually. So I think I saw that Toastmaster Pro um haven't really haven't um delivered his speech. Uh, Toastmaster Pro, do you want to try? Uh, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. We still have Miss Marvel as the last characters. Yeah. No, okay. So. Okay. 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 
Okay, let me. Okay, so. So Miss Marple, uh, her power comes from Miss Bracelet. So do you have any personal belongings that you feel give you power in your life? Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Bates Master, Rafi. I truly don't have any personal belongings because I believe what I have is enough for something to do with my life. <laughs> and, um, um, we know that comparing to Miss Marple, that she has the power from the bracelet, but uh, the power was um, to make her make a move, like right? maneuvering to all of her, all of her life, and then uh, finding the means of power uh, will be a good example of how she maintained the power to uh, maneuver to all of her changes. I believe the bracelet. I don't need uh, any special uh, items to make myself have the power because the uh, power comes within myself. That's what the introvert usually say, and then the extrovert will say the power comes from the others. So, just to make it balanced, um, I think my persistence will be much uh, more on myself. I have been own power, and then um, Instead of I should bring something my belongings, I prefer to have my own time to recharge my power so that I can refer to many things in my heart of Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Master Pro, for sharing your uh, part of stories. So with that speech um, came to our last session of the table topic. So it ends our table topic session. And thank you again for all of you who just participate in this session. And yes, I will go, I will now pass again the button to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Yusuf. Okay, thank you. Uh... Make a round of applause for Tablet Epic Master, Toastmaster Ulfi. Very uh, light and also, uh, you know, it's really uh, nice to have this conversation. I think it's, uh, you know, with entertainment, with uh, superheroes, it is an enlightening about the hero, uh, the worst thing that I mentioned before. <laughs> okay, uh, before I move to the other. Uh, Session. I think we don't have any uh, other session. Uh, we will move to the general evaluator uh, for the report. General evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Adrian, the screen is yours. Uh, sorry, Toastmaster Yusuf, I think I need to share my time report first. Yeah, I think the time report on the evaluation. And then also send well. Oh, okay. Uh, back to general operator. Okay, uh, thank you, table topic. Eh, thank you, Toastmaster of the meeting. And now we are in the evaluation session. So I will introduce one of my members, which is the first is Timer. So, Madam Timer, would you mind to share the result of your timing? Screen is yours. Oh, okay, thank you uh, for our GE, Toastmaster Adrian. So we have nine speakers tonight. And almost all speakers are eligible to be voted. But unfortunately, Toastmaster Iyun, you are under one minute. So only 50 seconds. You are not eligible to be voted. Sorry. And the others? If it's above 30 seconds, it's still eligible, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think that uh, no for table topic the minimum is one minute. Oh really? Um okay yes. Then. Because the, yeah, okay then. Because the last uh, usually is 30 seconds, but I'll check again. Uh yes, for table topic the minimum is one minute and then we have extra 30 seconds to wrap up our speech so you can eligible to be voted. So yes, we have nine speakers.
to be voted. I'll share the link after this. So back to GE. Thank you. Thank you for your timer report. So while those master Nanda preparing her ballot counter, I will, I'd like to see the our grammarian report from Toastmaster Adi. Toastmaster Adi, screen is yours. Okay, hello. So, um, for the grammarian report today, my highlights will be uh, the use of the past tense. So, for example, um, when we are talking about, when we tell the stories, and then the stories, everything happens in the past, the easiest way to deliver that is using all the past tense. So, uh, for example, uh, there is no one who wants to take the ball. Uh, this could be there was no one who wanted to take the role. So uh, the point of the past tense will be on the verb. So you can change it from um, uh, to the to the verb to form, which is the easiest one. That's in the past tense uh, here. And then uh, you can also use the is uh, is oh, sorry m is or r. Uh, the change into words or word. So uh, that, that will be like a simple uh, sentence to introduce or the time that fits a uh, story in the past. Uh, and, and make sure that it will become the past. And then uh, the second one, past tense is also used uh, as in the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in Bahasa, it's called Brandeyande, yeah? Brandeyande. More like you imagine something from you. you Imagining something more like imagining. So, for example, uh, if I had, you can use the if I had, if I could, uh, if I would, um, something that you 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 think that in the past you would do, then you can use those uh, questions. <clears throat> so, it's, for example, if I had power, if I could create something, then um, it is in the form of. Uh, imagining something, then you can use this as process. And then uh, one more thing is about uh, um, sentence between uh, which one, which one is this one is the question. You can imagine or can you imagine which one is the question? The answer would be the second one, can you imagine? So uh, when you want to emphasize something, you can say, can you imagine? Ask the questions instead of you can imagine. Uh, you can imagine more like in the uh, sentence that is incomplete sentence. Uh, the more complete sentence you, you can imagine, blah blah blah. Then, uh, because imagine is in the verb, then it needs to be first with the <coughs> uh, with the with the noun. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the idea is not in the chain. Okay. Uh, but that will wrap up my report for today. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Adi, or trust Toastmaster Prawira if I'm wrong to spell your name. Thank you for the report. Maybe you want to share the report after this meeting in our WhatsApp group because even in my, sorry, in my computer, uh, your son is not too well heard <laughs> so maybe you want to share your grammarian report after this meeting no worries no worries thank you and i see those master nanda already share the ballot for tonight so let's vote in that one uh, i think we can spare one minute for everyone to ensure everyone can be yeah can vote without interrupted. One minute. Mr. Timer, uh, would you mind to count uh, time with me? Uh, only one yes. minute. Yes, uh, I'll count the time start from now. Yes, thank you.
while we are waiting this one minute, uh, I would like one minute. Is... Huh? Okay. Sorry, sorry for interrupting you, Master Adrian. That minute is up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Okay, so I assume all of you already fought your cast your ballot. Now, uh, I'd like to call upon our AWOD counter, Toastmaster Aldi. Screen is yours. Okay, thank you, Mr. G. We still have a lot of time to give the detailed report, right? Okay, I would like to give the report. The TM use of our Tom has 10 of 2 and, and one overuse word is to use. Our Mr. GE, TM Adrian, to um, one R. Our Madam TTM, TM Luffy, three A, uh, five M. Um. Gas Juan, two A, uh, five, two A, uh, three M, um, two R, one M, and, and one W O P. Congratulations. TM Ricky, five A, uh, and one M. Um. TM Darshan, 2A and 2M. TM Iyun, 1A, 3M. TM Agi and Adi, for both of you, you have 1A. Back to you, Mr. G. And the only one, and the only, it's the only TM, only guest one who, are, who, who is able to hit the WOD today. Okay, thank you for the report, Master Ali. I think that's, wait a minute. Okay, I think that's all. Sorry, uh, I would like to ask the Master of the meeting. Um, when should I uh, present my report? Af uh, this one or after we are taking our photos? I think after we have uh, taking photos, pictures. Pictures, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all from uh, the evaluation. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, uh, general evaluator. Make a round of applause for your evaluation for the team. Uh, I will be back to you for the uh, general evaluator. But before that, I will ask all of you to open your cam and smile upon the camera uh, because we are going to take picture for our documentation okay i will make a count for three are you ready one two three one two three okay thank you back to you uh and before that, thank you for all your smile. And I will uh, give the control back to general evaluator to deliver the general evaluation for this meeting. Okay, thank you, that's master of the meeting. So I'd like to share my report. So first of all, congratulations. For you all, the Zoom meeting already prepared even before the time start. So we have the time actually to, to say hi to participants that comes to our meeting tonight. And good work for maintaining the conversation while we are waiting for the role takers and while we are waiting to for the meeting to start. It's understandable because we are still share of people and we are we would like to wait a little bit so more people can join and i noticed the role taker is a bit late maybe the pic of this meeting can follow up in the group chat or chatting personally before the meeting start to maybe to remind him or her about his role or her role tonight and for the some of the people uh, i think the sound is not very clear from our side 
maybe we want to come early and check the connection and such a technicalities before the meeting start. And side of that, I love the enthusiasm of you all. The table topic is delivered so amazingly. We have the cool slides there and we you put the effort to put the name of the superheroes and the question related to the superheroes you put it. It's amazing, it's enjoyable. And I think I also noticed that the enthusiasm to to serve as a backup from Toastmaster Adi or it's appreciated because she volunteer eh, he volunteer to be a grammarian because we know we all know the grammarian is quite important for our this meeting to start. And I would like to take a note that the agenda the agenda that has been shared please follow the agenda through because the agenda is the thing that our guest or our participant would like to see so it would be better if the next meeting we would stay in the schedule according to the agenda i think that's all from me back to you to master of the meeting Thank you uh, for your evaluation, uh, General Evaluator, Staff Master Adrian. Uh, and for the next uh, round, we have the announcement for the best uh, table topic session since we don't have a uh, prepared speech. So I will uh, invite uh, Staff Master Nanda for delivering your information about the ballot uh okay thank you Toastmaster Yusuf I'll share the screen okay so is it visible right uh, not yet not yet. Not yet. Visible. Yes. Can you see my screen? How about right now? Is it visible? Not yet. Not yet. I think you just can't far, right? Yes, I use Canva. Yeah. No, it's visible. Yes, is it visible, right? Right it's now? Visible. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yes, yeah, since... Yes, thank you. So, since we only have a one session, table topic session, this is the winner for table topic session. Okay, congratulations for our table topic speaker, Toastmaster Adrian. You win the session and please Zoom master, could you help me to pin Toastmaster Adrian? We can take a take a photo for this. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I think that's all from me, and I'll give the control back to Toastmaster Yusuf. Thank you for uh, table to, uh, for the bella counter, Mas Master Nanda for delivering your job here. Well done for uh, congratulations for to, uh, Master Adrian to be the best uh, table topic uh, uh, speaker for this uh, evening, and all of you 
uh, I invite you to join our next meeting. Maybe you will have uh, you will be chosen or will be vote as the table topic uh, best speaker, best table topic speaker. Okay, that's it for me. I think it is uh, we still have so plenty time since we don't have prepared speech for this time. I maybe it will be a freestyle or maybe or free speech for this meeting. Uh, we still have uh, 30 minutes. I will spare about 20 minutes to discuss about the uh, meeting uh, theme. Uh, we have Darsan here. Uh, we have Adi uh, and also we have Aji uh, who just joined this meeting. Uh, are you here, Tosmaster Aji? Uh, yes, I'm here. Hi, Tosmaster Yusuf. Hi, how are how you? Are you I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. Yeah, I want to ask you about this uh, tonight uh, or this evening uh, theme about uh, what peace, about war and correlation with peace. What do you think? I, I think I would have to read uh, back to the uh, first time I speak here. Uh, do you think we are uh, take it for granted for a peaceful time? What do you think about that? Hello? I think you are freeze, right? Hello? Okay. I think you are well, free. I think it is. I mean... If you if you if you take into considerations about the you know the stuff. Okay. okay, I think there is the technical. Uh, Mr. Agi, how about off the camera? How about now? Yeah, it's okay now. Can you audible? Yes, you are very audible. Uh, can you repeat again what you oh, wow. thought about this film? <laughs> so, so, Since we are done, so, we, don't, we can uh, hear you back then. Yeah, yeah, but before that, before that, the the the, the video takes lots of bandwidth of internet. It, it actually makes me freeze. That was that was interesting though. So I mean, if you if you if you take into consideration about the war situation. Uh, well, I think it's a past now. Uh, it is something that we we never foresaw it to to to, to be able to um happening in in these days and age. And um, I mean, most people think that will this be another like uh next great war after the second uh world war, or will this be just a localized uh in European uh, country war? So, uh, with that kind of thoughts. Uh, in my head, and as we learn from the history itself, uh, it is something that I'm becoming. Uh, if that were to happen again, because we were we were way too peaceful at the moment. We usually have our fights over the internet. Uh, we put mean comments. Um, everything is over in that right now. See time that that uh, particular Indonesia in in the sense. So yeah, I, I think I think that's my take on it. Okay, thank you, uh, Tasmasan Agi. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, really uh, uh, thoughtful about what you think about the situation right now. I want to ask the uh, Tasmasan Darsan, what do you think about a uh, war situation right now? Uh, where are you actually now? I'm actually in my apartment. No, I mean like a, a, what country? Just, uh, in my apartment. Uh, no, in, in Jakarta. Oh, in Jakarta. I live, I'm based in Jakarta. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about yes. the war situation yes, right now in, in Ukraine, in Syria, and also many other places? What do you think about, uh, can you predict that what war is going to happen in the, in the near future or something like that? 
I think uh, what happened in uh, what happened in uh, in the world right now with all the with all the politics, you know, with all the politics, uh, complicated politics, uh, uh, with the digital war. There's just so many digital war right now. I think everything right now, um, it's all about. Uh, I think there was someone mentioned about um, the change of the change of the you know the world uh, the world leader. You know now of course that U.S. is not that as strong as they were before. So this is this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. What's what's gonna happen ahead? You know we 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 have to. There are so many things we have to adjust if there is gonna be a new world leader. And I think I think uh, for sure, for sure, we're gonna have a new world re leader because before U.S. it was U uh, it was the U.K. and then U.S. So you know there's gonna be a lot of adjustment and how it what will happen, what kind of world war? It's something that it's unpredictable, but you know there is always gonna be when there is a new leader, there's always a new uh, there you always you always have the new adjustment. For every country, you know, they have to they have to adjust to the new world leader. Yeah, I think it's really related with uh, Toastmaster Ricky said before. Every great war it happened because the change of the uh, superpower uh, from UK to USA, and now I don't know. We don't know who are going to be superpower uh, uh, later. And it will be change the geopolitical situation in other other world. But I hope everything will be peaceful, uh, at least uh, in our place, and our job to maintain it by uh, living in harmony and you know uh, do uh, right people uh, do right thing as a as a nice people as a nice uh, citizen. I think that's it's for me. Okay. Uh, any other uh, insight? Absolutely. Or, yeah. Any other insight for other uh, participants? Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Joanne. Yeah, I think it's interesting to talk about the war peace right now and the possibility of the next world war as we were discussing. And I think uh, if we look to the history, World War Two, World War One, uh, there are so many reasons, so many the uh, that can cause uh, World War. And yeah, like you said, uh, there is a geopolitical competition, there is economic competition, and also there is energy resource competition. I mean. Uh, countries that uh, compete each other to seize energy energy resources that can cause conflict and can escalate to the world war. This is actually uh, the prediction. But uh, yeah, maybe we are thinking that only uh, the war uh, Russia's invasion in Ukraine that is the main. Uh, factor of uh, world war, the next world war, if it's happening. But I see the other reasons. Like I said, it also they can also become the reasons of the next world war. But I'm hoping then uh, it won't happen. The world yeah. war, I world war three. So. <laughs> we we won. Yeah, we we of course of course. <laughs> We we want this world to become peaceful, and many countries in the world and world leaders can make like a uh, reconciliation. They can uh, succeed uh, the negotiation, the dialogue, the forum that can uh, bring world to peace and not causing. World War Three. They, I think, our uh, leaders should uh, should make or uh, should often uh, meet in and doing dialogue, mini yeah. dialogues, mm -hmm. or making many forums like G20 last year or any other uh, summit. 
like that yeah. to make world becoming peaceful. Yeah, thank you atas masukan Juan. At, yeah, uh, like you said, I think that's all. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like you said before, that is the uh, diplomacy uh, uh, between countries and also uh, dialogue between uh, world leader uh, would be helpful. And well, it's a bit heavy, but uh, I have uh, something in my mind. Uh, before that, since the uh, theme is because I watch Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan. I thought that Darshan uh, mentioned before I that people like uh, Christopher Nolan movie, uh, Batman trilogy, right? Have you seen uh, uh, Oppenheimer? Yeah, right. Not yet, it's always full. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I watch it. I it's watch always it. full, every day is full. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just a bit because... Uh, I, only, I only want to watch it in IMAX, right? Like you said, you have to watch it in IMAX because it's actually uh, made for IMAX. The the way it's uh, Christopher Nolan made it for big screen for IMAX. So yeah, so right now there's only a few IMAX and everywhere is full. Yeah, see. Okay, thank you. Any other uh, suggestion or, or any other uh, uh, insight for this meeting team? Anyone? Maybe Ovi? Our top build topic master. Uh, inside for our overall or for the team itself. For the, for the team. <laughs> yeah, for overall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the team. No, like I, I like overall overallization. I enjoy it. I mean, like I love how you guys actively participate in the table tip topic session. So thank you again. And then about the word peace um itself, um because it's uh it's a heavy one. <laughs> it's heavy one if you're when you're talking about like uh is it going to be there is there will be next world war um. Some things like that, but yeah, uh, like the one I said that in the comments, like could China be the next superpower? Because, uh, because I just read the um, article about with the title like why China is not a superpower because they said that it's a regional power only. Because although they they like they have strength in global economic um they have influence on that but in terms of like, mil in terms of military um they not really um in top on top so that is why um in that article they said that um china could not be the next superpower or something like that so yeah, thanks for the theme. Uh, it makes me like it. It made me like took a, uh, took a search, took a Google to look for about the news. Yeah. Thank. Yeah, I think like I said before, it's mind provoking. It's a bit heavy, but maybe if uh, for uh, one meeting or two, I think it's okay to deliver this kind of meeting. Uh, uh, this kind of theme. Thank you all. Uh, I think that's it for me as double, uh, uh, double uh, sorry for Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you for uh, guests for, who joined this meeting. I hope you are going to uh, join our other meeting in the next uh, Wednesday. But we still we have also uh, maybe Madam President can help me that we can have we we have we are going to have uh, an offline meeting in Saturday, right? Uh, yes, uh, so uh, thank you to Master Yusuf. First of all, I want to say thank you for all people who have come to the meeting. And the next meeting will be in 12 August, Saturday 12 August at Perpustakaan Jakarta or Jakarta Library at Taman Ismail Marzuki, Jakarta. So please come, you can contact me or contact other member in Jakarta Motivator to know more about the meetings. And oh, Tosmasar Yusuf, are you are you done or do you have something else to say? No, uh, thank you. Thank you for all. I will end this meeting by stop recording. Okay, thank you. <laughs>